Now then guys, it's Sammy from Raven Forge. Today I am leather wrapping one of our Ragnar hatchets. Uh, these are sharp and functional and based on the one from the TV series, but they come with a hold. Come with a leather holster, wear it on your belt. Um, and they come into us like this. Um, and we sell a black version where I stain it black um, and rewrap it in uh, black leather. So we're going to get cracked on and I'll uh, show you how we do it. Cheers. Now then guys, so I'm going to start you off with the tools that we use. Big Stanley knife, pair of scissors, axe. Leather, uh, this is uh, treated um, black, one and a half mil hide, um, and it comes into us in half cows, yeah? Uh, so this was considerably larger than it is now, um, but I've been using it. Uh, right, I might speed some of this up, I don't know if you can see me in there, I might speed some of this up. Start. You can get fancy machines to do this, but I'll tell you what, I ain't got there yet. Um, I did buy some fancy winding thing uh, from eBay to do this for me, but it just didn't do as good a job. Now I'm cutting strips out, yeah, to um, do the crisscross leather wrapping of the haft. They want to be about a centimetre wide, give or take a bit. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna need just just short of a full length to uh, to get enough lines on it. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute because it's not gonna make much sense. Whoop. Right, that's that guy done. Right, so you want to get your axe? You want to find out where your handle is going to go from. So, my handle on this is going to be here. Yeah? So, we're going to start from the inside. Um, here's some super glue. I am not a big fan of fancy super glue. I don't do brand names. Yeah, this is super glue. It's super and it's glue. Um, you can pin these if you want with tacks, but I tell you what, you're gonna, you're gonna put holes in your leather and you're gonna pull it off. Um, and okay, super glue is not historically accurate, but it's really great um, and it does what you need it to do. Little bit on there, just a tiny dot. So this is just the same as pinning it. Um, I'll hold that guy in there. It dries really quick. Um, and then you want to make sure that you've got two lines on each side. Yeah, so you get an even amount of crosses. So one, one line on that side, one line on that side. One line, so I have two in this side now, and one line on that side. Um, so if you have a look at this, two lines that side, two lines that side. So then when you come back down and crisscross it again, uh, you can even out. I've got, have a look at this, look. Cocked up a bit here. Hang on from there, yeah. So I'm just going to trim that bit off. Otherwise you'll be able to see it and it'll piss me off. Right, going round the head. This is harder to explain. Yeah. And up, round. Oh, I'm having a wobble on. We're still there. Up and round. Up. Oh. Round. Up. Oh. Round. And we're done. Right. 
when you do this your leather always comes back the same side as you went up yeah but you need it to come back down the other side to be able to get your crosses yeah otherwise otherwise your crosses are going to be on this side yeah when you want them to be there Um, so we're going round, around there, all the way around, and then we want just another dot of glue on there. See that? Crossing round. Make sure you've got your crosses straight in the centre. Yeah. Round again. Yep. Yeah. And then you want to land it directly the opposite side of that. A lot of glue on there. Send that off. So there you go, there's your crosses on there, all the way up, same on the other side, so you've got two on each side, so it's even numbers, you can double your crosses up, yeah, um, so you, so the crosses are opposite each other, so you'll have a cross here, and a cross here, and a cross here, and a cross here, and a cross here, it's a lot of leather, it's a lot more extra time, um, but this, this, this is more than acceptable, it's great, great, so you do the handle now, diagram leather. For the handle I tend to do it a bit wider so I'm looking at about an inch, an inch and a bit. Um, here we go. As I said before, you can get fancy machines that do this for you but I ain't got one of them. I do have a pair of scissors and some hands and some eyeballs. Leather is deeply, deeply forgiving, which is pretty fucking useful. Um, so, especially if you're giving it a stretch, it's going to be here for you. Yeah. Till, till, you, till you get to the point where you start tooling it and, um, and pressing it and heating it up. Yeah. It it will uh, it'll be here for you. Um, So I've seen people do this from home, yeah, and one of the first mistakes that people make is they buy belt blanks to wrap it, yeah. Now, this leather has got a give and a stretch to it, um, and, and it'll wrap really nice. And I've, I've wrapped axes. I've wrapped axes with belts. I've wrapped axes with edge tan. Um, on the floor. This is veg tan. Yeah. So this is considerably more sturdy. And you can cut into this. And make patterns and shapes in it. Heat it up. Mould it into shape and stuff. Um, this this stuff's great for armor um, and braces and and I use it to make axe covers, whatever else. Um, not great for wrapping axes. It does, it does, it does, it does look great if you've got the time to put into it. Um, but it's very very hard work, and you need hands like fucking iron because stretching it around there. It's, it's yeah, I tell you what, real hard work. Right. starting end needs to just have like a mild taper on it yeah start at the front at the back makes very little difference just put it up there yeah dot of glue a bit of sound effects for you so we're going all the way around and you want to initially meet at the top of there 
yeah, to keep it pretty. Yeah, now once you've met there, you then want to get a decent angle on and just roll it down. Keep it, keep it taut, keep going. And you keep the tension on all the time and then you get this sort of excellent texture going on um, this is when I were talking about the veg tan earlier you do that with the veg tan you don't get this because it's too thick um, it doesn't have the same stretch in it um, you can heat it up and wet it to try and get that but you are in for a world of pain um, right so we're at right bottom now yeah I'm going to come over here Another glue, keep the pressure on again. Right, so we need to tape this off again to finish it off. Um, and we're gonna go um, from the bottom, I think. So, I don't know, I, I work on hand spans quite a lot. Yeah, so I'm gonna take about a hand span of that and then cut in a nice, let's try and get the smoothest angle I can get, yeah. You ideally want it all you know almost almost an unnoticeable uh, line so it just comes off to nothing and then you find a bit whoosh, round 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 Right, this is a bit that gets your fingers. Yeah, you have to roll fast. Whoosh, keep going, keep it moving. Otherwise, your fingers will stick to it and it'll piss you off. But it does mean that you get that bit. Wait, where, where, where? That bit stuck down there. And there you go. This is the guy. Yeah. So this is this is a nice starting point because it's, it's only a little axe. Um, but you know, it looks it looks great. It looks authentic as fuck. And. Uh, yeah, just wanted to run that through you. Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Be great.